Hey, Dad. How's it going? Hi, Dad. You okay? Oh. oh shit! Oh lord! Tastes like London dry gin. Dad, my new car. You like it? Dad. Where did you get the money to buy this new car? Oh. Money. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Really? Daddy, remember Zico Ventures? Zico Ventures? You know, they were owing us. So they paid the money two days ago. So I decided to buy the car today. Oh, Dad, Dad you like it? That's an RX350. It's a Lexus. It's actually small. I wanted to buy a Range Rover, but uh, you know, you have one. So I didn't want to go into a competition with you. So I decided to buy this. Uh, it's a small one, but it's okay. <laughs> so you used the money paid into the company coffers by another company converted it to your own private use buying cars doing things mm -hmm. you have a problem with that you have a problem with it are you aware that this company is owned by two people my younger brother matthew and i oh yes <laughs> Absolutely, Dad. You're my father, and your brother is my uncle. So anything that belongs to you, belongs to me. And Dad, come on. I just bought a new car. I expected you to congratulate me. Come on, Dad. Really? I'm your son. Congratulate me. Okay, you're not going to congratulate me, so I'll, I'll just take a rest. That's fine. Dad, really? I mean, it's a Lexus. RX 350. Like I said, I wanted to buy it. Um, GK. Um, yes, Dad. I'm here, Dad. Return this car to the dump, collect your money, pay Sam back into the company coffers. <laughs> really? GK. Return the car, get the money, pay back to them. Ah, yes, Your Majesty. That's fine. Daddy? No. <laughs> Is everything okay? Um, you look troubled. Everything is okay. Yeah, I guess you have somewhere you wanted to go to, right? Of course I'm off school. Okay. Off you go then. Okay. Um to have a nice day, Daddy. <laughs> I love you. Uh, same here. Daddy, don't miss me too much, okay? <laughs> yes, isn't nice, me? Uh huh. See, brother, I, 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 I think you should come to the city tomorrow. I need you in the city. Ah. Yes. My house. Uh, well, you know, come anytime. Anytime I'm here. Yes. Oh, do mind. It's all right. All right. All right. Have a safe ride then. To tomorrow then. Matthew. All right, all right. You're in the office. That's great. That's great. Ah, uh, no, my dear. I can't. I can't. I can't make office today. I just want to stay back at home. You know. Uh, see, Matthew. I I just called uh, our elder brother, Izuna. Yes. I asked him to be here tomorrow, and I want you in my house also tomorrow. Let's let's see. Let's have a tete-a-tete. -tete. 
Yes. All right. What is it? You just left three hours for lesson and now you are back. So what happened? Mama, you're asking as if you don't know. Is it about your lesson fee? Yes, Mama, it's about the lesson fee. Mama, they say I should not come back to that lesson without their money. In fact, they practically flogged me out of the lesson hall. You mean the lesson teacher flogged you? Yes, Mama. Hey! Don't worry. Just go inside and drop your bag. I will go and see your uncle. Let me talk to him. Let's see if he can help us. Okay? Don't cry. Don't worry. Just go inside and drop your school bag. Mama, do whatever you can to give me the money. I wouldn't want to miss lesson again. Damn is around the corner. And Please I don't. say don't worry. Just go and drop your bag. Come and help me so that we'll prepare lunch. Let me go and see your uncle. Nine. She may have been crying since because she was sent out of the lesson hall. And the reason is that she has not paid her lesson fee. And the jam exams is fast approaching. It's around the corner. It's starting soon. Ah. Mm -hmm. So all these things you are, you are saying now, how is it my business? Please, I want you to give her the lesson fee. You know, since my husband, your brother died, Chimwendo and I have been passing through a whole lot going through hardship and you know I don't have any sound business that I'm doing for now. If I have, I would have given her the money. I wouldn't have come to you for that. Please help us. You want me to give you some money to pay for her lesson fee? Mm. What for? Um, to go to the university. You want her to go to the university? Agnes, you want to cheat to, to go to the university? Hey. Now let me ask you. If we spend all this money for Chiwe, what will be our benefit? I mean, my benefit. Nine, uh -uh. why are you talking like this? I am talking like this because Chiwe is just a woman. She belongs to another man's family. Any money spent on her will be inherited by another man. So as you can see, spending money on her is a waste. Send her to go and learn the leg, and learn her, learn her to work. Uh, 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 so you know, uh, help the you know. Are you alright? Why are you talking like this? No, now it's unfair. Uh -uh. How can you say that any money spent in training Chin our daughter is going to be a waste simply because she's a woman? Uh, thank God we are beginning to understand that Chin Wendy is just a woman. And that's the more reason I say that I will not spend my money on her. She, she, what you come? Why I spend it? You will not spend your money on her. Nah. But let me tell you. We serve a living God. And the God we serve never forsake his own. Never leave his people. Soon you will celebrate Chiwan. Send the Chiwan to go and learn hand work. I have set my mind. Send the Chiwan to go and learn hand work to Agnes. I have to go wherever I was going to go and learn hand work. Ah. Listen now and then, why did you? You are drinking. Let me, let me get it over to you again. I'm not drinking. I'm not even touching Not until I know the reason behind this urgent call. Talk to me. Let me be at ease. Yes, brother, talk to us. Since I came back from work, I've not rested. I, I want us to know why you called for this meeting. Um, well, is in when um, Matthew, I asked you people to come because there are there is a critical issue we must look at. I will if you. Chobai Uoji Kachi Ali Jinariani I 
want Matthew and I to break our company. Share our company. What? What have you just said? Brother. Why? Is there any problem? No. There is no problem. At least today, there is no problem. But as I look into the future, I... Problems loom. Miliade no bo bakai kwanya to pull lian. Let us try and forestall that problem that is looming. Problem? What what kind of problem are you emphasizing here? Principally, it has to do with my, my son. When you do your man here, I have a load. I have a big problem in my house concerning my son. Matthew, you remember the last time my son dipped his hand into the coffers of the company? He took or stole or misappropriated 10 million naira. That's not a small amount. There are other things and you know it. Yes, I remember. So, my reasoning is this. Two brothers doing very well. Two brothers closely knit. We own this company and we've come over the years. Now, in walks my son. And with his activities, he will soon, soon bring our two heads and click them together, knock them together. He will be a wedge between two brothers is going to cause a problem between you and I. So to forestall that, we need to uh, get the experts to look at the company, look at the, uh, the assets and liabilities of the company with a view to sharing the company between us. You go with yours, I go with mine. If tomorrow I need money, I will come to you. You want to give me, you give me. So there will be peace. So if both of you agree, Matthew, if you agree, we get our lawyers to work on this immediately. Have you really cross-examined your hearts? Hmm? And see this as the best option? That's the only option available from the depth of my heart. If there is any, you tell us that this is coming from deep, deep, deep inside of me. Brother, you are a senior here and like the father to us, you've heard him talk. What have you to say? Um. I don't see anything wrong with what she has just said. It only goes to show that uh, he's a, a good, a man of peace, as we used to know him, as your chair as well. Uh, but what of you? Since he's coming in good faith, to me, I think it's, it's okay, man. What? My mind is, uh, yeah, I am much relieved. I am relieved. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you very much, you people who have made my day. No, ah, brother, open this drink so that we will toast with it. See you. This. No, you go ahead. You are elder brother.
prepared this. Hmm? That is our accountant, Chike. He brought it to my office, and when I went through it, I saw all the nonsense that he made there. When I called him to come and take it and prepare it correctly, the next thing he shouted at me and walked out on me. When I called him back, he ignored me. He shouted at you? Yes, brother. Walked out? Yes, brother. I see. I see. Anyway, from what I have here, is incapable of handling that job. You can't defend that position. That's why I brought this case to you. He's fond of doing this thing regularly. Why don't you go back to your office and do a letter? Take a decision on this, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, do a letter, whatever you decide. Demote him to ask him to leave, suspend him to leave him, whatever you decide. Come on. Everybody knows me now. My rent is rest. And how much are you? Field or field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Field. Yeah. Okay. How much is And I do have Everybody knows you guys. It's very good. It is very sweet. Tomorrow you look for me. Thank you. I am old. Oh. When will this problem come to an end? Get your one. Sweet orange, sweet orange. Apple bagamo. to work? I quit. Oh yes. I quit so you and your brother can enjoy your company and your wealth. Quit. That means you resigned your job. I hope you told your mother and uh, Flopsy so that they don't begin to see it as if my brother and I sucked you. Well, that's none of your business, Rod. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, son.
Our customer, our customer. Our customer. <laughs> no, you are welcome. Mm. <coughs> I hope you today already is sweet. I like it well. This one is very sweet. Very sweet. Sweeter than the ones I've been bringing before. Oh my God. In the shop. Can you get this? Oh my God. 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 <laughs> 200 naira. Yeah. Yeah. Give me 100 naira. 100 naira. Now you're gonna move. Oh my God. Hey, the way. Did I give you from this one? Come get better. I'm coming up with another one. What is the same thing? Yes. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sweet like this one. Ah, uh, uh, trust me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Wait, oh, please. Uh, my money is not complete. My money is supposed to be 300 now. You bought the one of 200. He bought the one of 100 now. So but you gave me 200. You how much? 100 now. Sorry, sorry. Oh. Come and collect this. Sorry. Come inside and collect this. Yeah, sorry. sorry. Okay. Come inside. Come, come inside. Come inside. inside? Yes. Where is my trouser now? Did you? Ah, where is that trouser? I dropped it there. Come, come. Come inside. Ah. Hey, hey. Ah. Customer. I dropped it here. Customer. Eh? My trouser. Come she back so early with this quantity of unsold oranges. Chim, Chim Wendo, mm -hmm. hmm? you came back so early. Eh? And why you didn't sell this, um, your oranges finished? What happened? Oh, Mama, you're back. Yes. Hmm? I am tired and I am feeling sick. You are sick? What is happening to you? My body, my joints, everywhere is pain in me. I thank you. It's like you have malaria. Huh? Don't worry, I'll give you some money. You'll go to the chemist and uh, buy this um, malaria drugs. Hmm? Uh, darling, what are these documents for? Uh, this is a deed for uh, a new property I just bought. You bought a new house? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why is this girl? 
Chiwe. What are you doing there? Come with the money now. Mama, I'm coming. So how much did you make? How much is the two? I have um fifteen thousand four hundred and seventy nine. Okay. Yeah. And I have fifteen thousand two hundred nine. So how much is that your lesson fee? Seven thousand nine, Mama. Okay. Today is Friday. Yes, ma'am. Tomorrow you will go to the farm and finish the remaining work. Okay. So on Monday you resume for your lesson. Hmm? <laughs> so Mama. Hmm? I am resuming my lesson on Monday. Yes. Just like that. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best mother in the whole world. <laughs> I know. You are happy now. Yes, I'm very happy. I know. Thank I you. Know. You're happy. <laughs> so go inside and get my lunch for me. I'll prepare your favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Hey. Uh, Chief, you have to take it easy. Just calm down. I will suggest you let go. You going to court with him will be a waste of time because you have no evidence. Chief, you have many properties in this city and other places. So this one will not kill you. Why will this boy sell my property and run away? Now that he has sold it, where is the money? <sighs> anyway, never mind. I know what to do. I will do it. You just have to take it easy. I know how you feel. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. But I told you. Oh my god. Oh baby, I'm so tired. I know. I know. But I really enjoyed myself in that club. Man, babes. Mm -hmm. For her part is so much enjoyment. <laughs> I told you now. I told you, you thought I was joking. I told you I was going to spoil you silly. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen anything yet. This is just the beginning, trust me. Wait. This one passed little. Baby, you spoiled me big. Mm -hmm. Like, so big. But, come to think of it. Mm -hmm. Why did you spend that kind of money in just one night? How much? 4.5 million. Is that one money? That's no money. See, my name is Chike. Boo of the bullets. Hmm? What's this? It, it, it's a Rolex wristwatch. Say it again. Ro Rolex. Again? Rolex. Yeah, yeah. Get that Wait! <laughs> 4.5 million naira in just one night and you say it's nothing? It's nothing. Come on. Listen, I'm giving you 5 million naira tomorrow. You know I promised I was going to take you off shopping. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, since you said it's nothing, the most important thing is that I really enjoyed myself to the fullest. Uh, you have more on the way. Listen, go in, mm -hmm. take a bath, alright? Clean up because we're going to enjoy ourselves today. Five million naira for you tomorrow. Oh we're going shopping. <laughs> oh my god, baby, I love you. Yeah, Thank you. Clean so up, much. Up, up, up. Boo of the bullets. Mm -hmm. Boo of the bullets. Boo of the bullets. No, no, no. You are too good, baby. Mm -hmm. You are too good, Nanya. Mm -hmm. Five million naira for you tomorrow. Oh, baby. I promise Say you. that again. Five million naira for I you tomorrow. I love the sound of it. Five million naira for you <laughs> I tomorrow. love the sound Take of it. Take it back. Thank you. Take it back. Come on. See you in a bit. Go ahead. <laughs> My son did not do anything. Where are you taking him to? Huh? Madam, you are disturbing our work. 
We are only following your husband's instruction. What stupid Please. instruction? Officer! That, like seriously! Take him out of this place! You can't come in here and put cuffs on my hands! Move on! Take him out of this place! 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 Why would I do a thing like this? My mom do something, they are taking Chike away, do something. So your father brought this policeman here to arrest Chike. Just because he sold his house. His own father's house, ordinary house. Eh? Mom, just do something. It's do okay. Something. We shall see. Our children, we shall see. Mom. Our children are my brother. I've heard all you say. You see? What that boy did was very bad. It's un unacceptable. But I want to ask you a favor. Yes, what is it? Call the police to release the boy. The boy continues to stay there. We will not solve any problem. Cannot solve any problem. I know. See? <coughs> you, you see, this boy is your only son. Your son and the only son. I would suggest you use that house to settle him. Let him use the money he realized for the sale of the house to establish his own business and, <coughs> leave, and leave you alone. Because if he stays in that cell for a longer time, you become more criminalized and may be a threat to your life. Daddy, please. Please, I beg of you. Uncle has a good point. Why don't you just listen to him? I know how difficult this is, but I know that you can. Daddy, you can use this house to settle Chike. Do I all these visits? Please sit. I just asked you a question. To so what do I all these visits, especially in a hotel room? Sit down, please. I invited you here so that we can talk. Talk, you say? <laughs> talk about what? Talk about my son in your custody. See, IPO, I want you to release my son. And I know you are in the position to do that. Point of correction, madam. It is never in my position to release that boy. I have a superior for crying out loud. I cannot do anything without the due consent of my superior, which is the DPO. Yes, I know. But you can still do something if you wish. And I will pay you any amount you want and make you happy. You mean? What I mean is that I will pay you the sum of 200,000 Naira and also make you feel the sweetness of my body. That's what I mean. Yes. Uh, no. No, no. No, no. Oh, what are you doing? Receptionist, please, uh, those people that just left here now, what did they come for? I don't know, sir. I just came to this room. Ah. Please, can I know the room number? I can't I know. Can you 
have this place. Room 211 is open. For lesson today, and why are you sitting under this hot sun? Well, I don't know what is happening to me. Oh, I'm out of my body is paining me, and I'm feeling weak. Hey, Mama, I can't get you. I can't get you. Are you sure it's not malaria? Mama, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That means we have to go to the hospital. Eh? Now, let me go and wash my legs. What's the meaning of this nonsense? Have you finished watching it? Watch very well. Watch! Watch! Yes. What is this for? Have you seen the bed? Don't you recognize that bed? Don't you recognize that room? Which room? Which room are you talking about? Hotel ah. room where you took the IPO to. The hotel room you took the IPO to. Ebe IPO no dosage. Tiwage. Ha! Melo wege bele. Me, Joyce, took the IPO to a hotel room. For what? Eh? You know me too well that I can't mess around. Are you not a man? I am a man, but you've just chosen another man. Who gave you this fake news? This is fake. Um, I want all of us to pay very close attention, particularly Chike. who is primarily concerned with this short meeting. We all know that Chike here sold my property, my building, some time ago, without my consent. I don't know how much he made out of the building, Subsequently, I made a lot of noise and I was ready to pursue the matter to its logical conclusion that I was personally advised to withdraw. And I have done that. I am talking to you. Chike. Chike. Dad, I, I have ears now. I'm, I'm not listening with my mouth. Then I drop that phone and listen. I have been persuaded to let you keep that money. And I think it's about 60 something million naira. Mm -hmm. You will keep that money as your settlement. You are my first son and I'm settling you with that amount. 
huge amount of money. But you can. You will have to invest that 64 plus millionaire <laughs> and invest wisely. If you don't know how to invest it, ask questions. I'm available also. Ask me. I will tell you how to, where that money will get more returns. Invest it wisely and you will reap, you will reap almost runaway profits. And you become something in life. But if you miss it, if you fail to invest it wisely, then I'm afraid okay. it will be your finish. So, choose life. Don't choose death. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> Can I say something? On this issue? Yes. There is nothing more to be added to what I said. Your father treats you like this. Why are you looking for her? Okay. Is she no longer my late brother's daughter? No. Get a catchy for the night. Anyway, she is inside sleeping. Eh? Sleeping? Mm. By this time of the day. So, all I've been hearing is true. Agnes, all I've been hearing is true. You see your life. You see your life. I warned you earlier to take this girl to somewhere to go and let uh, hand work, but you refuse. Now you have seen it. You have seen it on water pregnancy. In this our family. Ah, God forbid. It will not work. Ijezi, are you not satisfied that Chinwe has gotten pregnant? Where she was hustling to make money so she can pay off her school fees. Wish you her wicked uncle refused to help her. Ijezi, get out of this place. Leave us alone to carry our cross. It is our own cross. We will carry it. Leave us alone. Cross? Yes. Did I hear you say cross? Hey, Agnes. Did I hear you say cross? Now let me ask you. Must she sleep with her man before she can get money to pay for her school fees? Huh? I'm asking you. Must she sleep with her man? Oh, boy, man. Now you listen to me. You better take care to whoever that is responsible for, for that pregnancy. We don't have a uh, 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 bastard in our family. You just say. Now get out. If you don't leave this moment, I'll push you. Huh? Yes. You will push me. I will push you now. You push me, Jesse. Yes. Okay, what the you can't do anything. Okay, you, you can't do anything. Like mother, like daughter. Come back. 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 How much is my bill? 1.6 million euros. Sir. Huh? 1.6 million euros. What's again? 1.6 million euros. 1.6 million or 1.6 billion? 1.6 million euros. Sir. You know you have to distinguish both. We need to know if it's 1.6 million or 1.6 billion. 1.6 so million. So tell me, how do you want your money? In cash or... You know what? Just send me your account number. I'll do it transfer to you ASAP. Okay, sir. Okay. I'll do that. Hey, listen, when I talk to you, say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What's my name? Shike! AKA! Big AKA! Talk to you. Yes. I'm just seeing. Can I sit down? Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. Sit 
dead. Dad, I want to come back to the company. I mean, I've been searching for a job. And I can't find any. No one has agreed to employ me. But Dad, I can't have a rich father, a father as rich as you are, with a huge company employing thousands of people, and I can't get a job. Why? That's unacceptable, Dad. What I feared most is happening to me. GK. This is comparable to the biblical story of the prodigal son who walked and walked and walked, goes back to his roots. So, you have returned home, returned to the company and you want to be re-employed, right? Yes, well, yeah. GK, <clears throat> what about the sixty four million naira you realized from the sale of that my building? Building you sold at my back. The same building I later said keep the money as part of your settlement. That as your settlement, your basic start off in life. 64 million naira. What about it? Dad, Dad, why are you talking about the past? That's in the past, Dad. Why are you bringing it back? That I made use of the money. Besides, 64 million, that, that's small money. That's small money. 64 million is nothing. That how, how much how much do you do you do you spend in, in, in a month? 64 million is nothing that I, I made use of it. You made use of it. Yes. Of course you should make use of it. Alright, where where did you invest it? Hmm? Where did you invest it? How? That the money is finished. I, I didn't invest it. Sixty four million was too small to, in, to to invest. I couldn't invest it in anything. It was too small. I made use of it. Sixty four million naira. You mean you mean that I finished more. Dad, please tell me. When, when am I resuming work? Oh, shut up! Get out of here! Get out! So it's you. It's you, right? Choose less man. Look at yourself. No, no, no. Take a look at yourself. Look at your life. Choose less man. Are you mad? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> what kind of stupid embarrassment is this in the first place? You stand before me to exhibit total disrespect and disregard for an officer of the law? Do you want me to arrest you and charge you for assault? You're mad. You're mad. In fact, you're stupid. You're a big fool. What is wrong with you? What the fuck do you think you want to intimidate? Do I look like one of those stupid people you can intimidate with your job? No, 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 no. Try and touch me and see if my father will not relieve you of your, of, of your job. The stupid job you're using intimidating innocent people. You're ashamed of embarrassment. Now let me ask you again. Who the hell are you? Really? You don't know me, right? You don't know me, right? 
I am the daughter of that woman you took to the hotel and made a mess of her. Stupid man! Now you have broken my family. Now I get it, Trace. You've lost it. Now let me tell you, let me further educate you on this. It wasn't my fault. It was your mother's fault. Go back and ask your mother. She initiated every move and everything that transpired between she and I. You are mad. Okay, you are an unmitigated disaster. A big fool. Dad, I'm not a fool. If you don't call the office right now and tell them I'm coming back, you won't have peace in this house. I promise you. Don't I tell you. Are you forcing me to employ you or re-employ you? Is that what you're doing? Dad, that's, that's, that's my birthright. You're my father. I am your son. You can't treat me like this because your father didn't treat you like this. It's not your birthright. It's a privilege. That's impossible. It's my birthright. I'm your son. You can't, you can't, you can't treat me like a pauper in my own father's house. Dad, you better call the office and tell them I'm coming back. Oh, well, what will happen? I said it before, you won't have peace in this house. Dad, are you calling them? Are you calling them? Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm living like a stranger in my own father's house. <coughs> Oh, you, you, you're calling them. That's what you should have done a long time and you, you've been here wasting my time. DPO. Um, DPO, I have, I have an emergency on my hands now. I really don't know what to do. I, I can't even get out of my house. My son is before me swearing fire and brimstone. Thing in his pocket. I think it's a gun. Yes. Dad! Send your This man can lie, you. Send your men immediately. Yes. Let them come with sirens and all that. Yes. All armed to the teeth. Come and save me. Save the situation, please. please. Dad! Dad, you just lied on me. You said I have a gun. Where is the gun? That we shall see. know how much you have realized from the orange business. Mama, I have not counted it, but I don't think it's much. It's okay. Then you give me some money from that one, so that I will add to the one I have, and go to the market and start picking uh, some Agrika wheels for your baby. Okay. You know, according to the doctor, the death for your delivery is fast approaching. And I'll also go to our village women meeting and apply for a loan. So that we'll be ready for the hospital base when you deliver. Oh? Okay, Mama. Thank you very much. <laughs> you go inside and rest. And don't overstress yourself. Oh? Alright, Mama. Mm. You are my only hope. My daughter will soon go to the hospital to deliver her baby. And you know, since my husband died, things have been so rough and hard for me. And it is here my late husband brother is not helping matters. He took over everything realized for my late husband burial. Please, I want you to help me. Become an best. Please help me. Agnes. Charlie. You know you are my friend, yes, and I would have loved to help you. But the thing is, we have a new law now, and the law is, 
No more giving of loan to people. A lot of people are owing us. And not until they pay their loans. They cannot give new ones. Please, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm um, chair lady. You know you can instruct and sign for the law. Please help me. At least I'm not the one that made the law. I'm not. It's not in my power. Um, I. Oh, um, Chai. Chai. Okay. Where am I going? I'm here. Let me say my God. Where this when will this problem come to an end? Each of us on the Kanka Why are you crying? Nothing, my daughter. Just go inside. I'm fine. And, uh, you cannot tell me that. You can't tell me to go inside that you're fine. You are crying. Mama, please talk to me. What is the problem? Well, if you insist, I just remember my late husband, your father. Mama, look at what you're doing. What do you expect me, his daughter, to do? Mama, you should be the one consoling me, not the other way around. It is okay. It is okay. I am okay now. Hmm? Just go in. I'm trying. I'm okay. Oh? No. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving you here. We will go in together. Please. I will join you shortly. I still want to take fresh air. I will join you. <laughs> that reminds me. That money I told you about. I kept it on that debate. When you raise the mattress up, you will say it. And um, Mama Chine do is owing me 400 naira. Make sure you collect that money from her. You see the remaining cassava in our farm. Look for somebody to buy them if need be. More importantly, I want you to be very, very careful about your uncle, Ijezie. Ijezie is not a good person. He's a very bad man. Don't be careful. Oh, no. No, no. Hmm? Why are you telling me all this? It's not like you're traveling. Please, I don't need this information. Let's go inside and sleep, Biko. No problem. Uh, just uh, let me inform you. Just go in, I'm coming. Mm. I'm coming. Mama, mm. hurry up. It's midnight already. Oh, oh. stop crying. Mm. Don't cry again. Mm. Oh. Oh. I'm waiting for you. Don't come. When will this suffering end? I'm Mama, get up and go inside. Mama, Mama. Doing. Oh my, oh my, oh my. 
Mama, please don't do this to Mama. Mama, hey. Mama, please. Mama, please. You cannot do this to me. Mama. Okadia, Keke. Mama. Hey. That's you, Okadia. Keke. Should I get you water to drink? Should I pour water so you can take your bath? Are you sure? Uh -uh. What do you want? Huh? Please, take something now. What do you want to eat? Don't tell me that what I had is true. In fact, I am not sure. Agnes! 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 There's nobody there. Where is your mother, Agnes? Oh, 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 oh. So, you have finally killed your mother the way you killed your father, my brother. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Nah, Who told you that this innocent girl killed her mother? What kind of a thing is this? Did I say innocent? Yes. Let me ask you. Are you a member of this family to know what this, this, this girl is capable of doing? Huh? Nay, no, please, stop it. Huh? Yes, we know we are not members of this family. But we are close to the family. Huh? we here cannot hurt a fly. Not even talk of killing her own mother. Yes, you are right. She cannot hurt a fly. Because hurting a fly is useless to her. She can hurt something bigger than an elephant. Let me tell you, she is not what you think she is. And you, she wants you. She wants you. Now that you have wiped your parents, let me see how they are going to stay in this house alone. Let me see how you are going to stay in this house alone. Let me see. 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 Oh, my God, I can't run here now. Why is it? Hey, Labaka has to run now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Makasi, Shaf. Umu, here we go. What kind of, what kind of wicked man is this? Eh? This man is, is, is heartless. Hey. She, please, just calm down. Please, don't think anything. Don't even take what he's saying. Serious. Please, we are here for you. Please, let's take her to the backyard so that she can bet. Stand up. Just try. Just try. Try. Oh, please. Let's go to the backyard. Ah. Um. My brother, you see, staying away from your home, your family, and staying here in the village for one week now. Cutting your phone off, no communication outside work. It's not the best. You're a businessman. What of your business? Your customers will be calling you. How do they get at you? So I'm suggesting, if you don't mind, that you go back. You, you can even stay in, in a hotel. Best of all, you can stay in a hotel. Or in one of your houses in the city, I still do your business and maintain constant contact with your business partners and customers. Thank you, my name. Agua no na na bem. Bemna bagala gala. There is no peace in my house. <sighs> my house is a house on fire. Are you hearing me? I do. Hmm. Ever since that woman they call my wife.
perpetrated that act of infidelity with uh, that police officer. Mm. Things have never been the same. I severed every form of close relationship, marital relationship with her. Adam Anuze. I cannot sit with her and hold any meaningful family discussion any longer. I don't even eat her food. We don't even sleep on the same bed. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. The only person I have in that house is my daughter, Amaka. She is the only source of happiness, the only joy I have. And the only person I'm missing as of now. As for my business, well, as long as you have your phone and your phone is on, you can conduct your business from town, from out of town, from this village. I can conduct my business. That's the true situation. My brother, your decision about your wife is correct. It's good, but it's not good enough for you to abandon your family and run away. Hmm? Still stay there and continue solving your problem. Um, when um, I've heard you, good. I've heard you. I gave Columba Boom. Where are you? I didn't mind. Thank you. I'll get prepared and go back tomorrow. Uh -huh. yeah. That's right, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, why? Why did you do this? Daddy, how can you leave for the village for more than one week now without telling me? And you even turned off your phones. I couldn't reach you. Mm. Daddy, do you want to kill me? No, 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 no. Amaka. <laughs> we will discuss. That's my daughter, Amakana. This is the only source of joy I have there. Uh, have you greeted your uncle? Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. Uncle, mm. good afternoon, sir. Yeah. How are you? Uncle, I'm not fine. How can my daddy do this to me? For more than one week now, I've been trying to reach him. All his lines are turned off. And I was really worried something had happened to him. Well, yeah, that is fine. And uh, he will explain to you later, as he said. Oh, God, who did I offend? Why? Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me alone in this wicked world? Mama, who am I going to live with? Mama, who am I going to talk to? Mama, who am I going to play with? Who is going to take care of me in this my condition? Mama, who is going to console me for your death? I'm all alone, day and night. And you're lying down there all alone. 
expecting me to sleep in that house alone no mama I will not do that I am going to sleep here with you I will sleep here with you baba when will this suffering come to an end oh I cried that night, no one to hear me out. I suffered that night just to make ends meet. I suffered that night just to make She was lying down here with me. Chiwe, which mother now? Eh? What are you saying? My mother was lying down here with me. Lily, this position, she was in this position. She was lying down here with me. Your mother is dead. She's gone. She's dead. No! Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that my mother is not dead. She was lying down here with me. Right here. She was here. She was lying down here with me. My mother was... She was Please, here. no. Please stop. She's not dead. My mother is not dead. She, no. My mother is not dead. No, please don't. Please.
Anything to happen to this lady and the baby, please. It's okay. Just go to Nkwago village. Ask of Ijezia's family. Ijezia's family? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Nai, please. Anything you can do to help. Something needs to be done. Let's save the life of the lady and the, and the unborn child. Please. What do you say the person's name is? Chiwe. 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 Okay, for why? It's a lady. Why? I don't know. I don't know the person by that name, Chiwe. Hi. Hi. But Nai, the person that directed me to come and, and see you said you are you are her uncle, sir. What is that your name again? Alpha. Alpha? Yes, sir. Now you listen to me. Listen to me, Alpha. If I go in there and come out and you are still here, what I will do to you, you will regret it for the rest of your life. How am I sure I know the one that implemented her? Huh? Else, what is your concern in her condition? Leave my house. Alpha, leave my house. I don't want to come out here and meet you here again. Leave my house. After set and done, there is judgment. Oh. If I in a 
How much is it? Eighty thousand. Are you sure this one is complete? Doctor, you said eighty thousand, and this is eighty thousand. Please start work. Okay. Come, let's go in. There are some documents you need to sign. Please. Is it you're crying again? Oh, come on, Tuma, I've told you. I told you to stop crying. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine, you say. How can everything be fine in this my condition? I have no mother, no father. My uncle abandoned me. So tell me, how can everything be fine? How do I take care of myself and my baby? Yes, I, 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 I know you don't have a father, no mother, nobody to, to, to look up to, but... That was before, that was then. Now I'm here for you. Don't worry, I am here for you. Everything will be fine. No, I, I, you have a family to take care of. I don't want to be a burden to you. Besides, your wife might not like it. Even if she don't like it, that, 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 that is not my business. Okay? It's her business. I, all I know is that I want you to be fine. I want you and the baby to be fine. Stop this thing you're thinking. Please. I I get this for you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Bless you too. Hey. You said the baby is fine. See my daughter. Auntie, welcome. Uh -huh. How are you? Fine, thank you, Auntie. How is my daughter? She's fine. She's sleeping inside. Okay, let me see her. Okay. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless okay. you. Okay, stop thanking me. All I want you to do is to be fine. Relax, you and baby, okay? Okay. Uh, this is working hour. I just have to go and work now. Right. I'll come back later. Hmm? Take care of yourself. Promise me you won't cry again. No. 
Yes. Okay. Bye. Huh? Bye bye. <laughs> All right. Any crime committed? Chief, sorry. If you want to know what he did, come to our office, sir. Your office? Of course I can come to your office. Uh -uh. But we don't need to drag this thing. Since I'm here, we solve this problem, yeah! Chief, this one is not a small thing matter. This is a money issue, right. not a small thing. See? <clears throat> it is money matter. This is a problem we can solve here. What did he do? What is it? What is it? Did, what did he? How much of your money did he take? Well, Chief, uh, if you want to know, he ate our eighth grade meeting money. Yes. And we want that money now. Yes. Now. All right. All right, boys. This is a small problem. It's a small problem. Huh? And it's not a problem we cannot thrash out here. We are all young people. I like young people. Do you know that you young people are the future of this community? The future of the nation? The future of the country? Huh? We look up to you. So let's solve this thing. My friend, I mean, Look, how much are we even talking about here? Chief, it's a, it's a very big money. 164,000. Yes. 164,000. You are keeping silent. Spent Talk to Chief. Chief I mean, how, how could you have spent your age grade money? 164,000. Chief, I, I, didn't, I didn't spend it on, on myself. I, I used it to save a life. For the Christmas story. All right. Since I I have decided to uh, I've decided to wade into this matter, I will find out the life you said you wanted to save. Um, one sixty-four thousand. Now, if you if somebody gives you one hundred and sixty-four thousand naira, will you close this case? Will you leave this young man? Why not, Chief? Leave him now. Ah, Chief. We don't have any problem with him. In short, he's our treasurer. You understand? Once you give all this money, bam, everybody will go his way now. We don't have any problem with him at all at all. Yes. Okay, he's even your treasurer. All right. Um, okay. Uh, who is senior here? I'm the task force chairman, sir. Oh, okay. There we go. 100, 200,000. Chief, it's more than the money now. Power. Yes. Hey. Power. Don't worry. 164, the, the balance, the, the three of you here can share it. Four gold shot for Chief. 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 Four gold you are very lucky. So thank you for thank you. Thank you. Yes, my dear, like I said, um, 
all your problems have come to an end today. Oh? I tell you, uh, God is going to use me to wipe your tears. Hmm? Yes, no worries, your tears, they will all become a thing of the past. Okay? All you'll be singing from now on is Thanksgiving. Hmm? All right, um, I'll be going now, but I shall return for you, okay? Um, uh, here, I'm going to give you some money for you and your baby. The money will hold uh, you and your baby for a while, okay? Um, yeah. It's 300,000 Naira. 300,000? No, sir. No, 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 sir. I, I cannot accept this. This is huge. I, I've never seen this type of money before. Um, yes. I know it's big. I know it's big. You see it as big. But I can assure you that uh, now that you know me, You'll be seeing much more than this. Okay? Now use this and cover it. You know your neighborhood. Cover it. I should take it. Yes, cover it first before you go in so that people don't know what you're. Um, Alpha? Sir. Take, 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 take. We'll start with that. Thank you, sir. My dear. Thank, thank you, sir. I'll be back. Hmm? Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. tried reaching you on your cell phone, but it is ringing you're not picking. I mean, for the appointment. Is there any problem? Yes, I remember the appointment. Barrister. You look so worried. I'm not worried. I'm just depressed. Just depressed. See, this world is different stroke for different people. Some are poor, some are rich, some are so poor, so deplorable. Oh my God! Some are in the gutter! I don't understand. Barrister, uh, I went to my village just this last weekend. On my way to... Just before I got to my village, I interacted with this. This, I, I don't want to use the word wretched because wretched is on the negative side. This poor, poor, poorest orphan. A girl. Her, her situation. Her situation drew tears. What happened? Hmm. Poor girl. Her father is late. Leaving the mother who could not sustain her education. And so poor girl, she started to hawk oranges on the street. Then one idiot, one idiot grabs the skull and rips her. And to make, make matters worse, the girl becomes pregnant. And meanwhile, the mother is no more. No father. No mother. No relatives, because that's what it 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 it, it usually ends out. Pathetic. Chief, 
I know you to be a very good person. What do you intend to do in this case? What I have to do? Of course I must do something. Why are people this wicked? What I intend to do in this case is obvious. I'm sitting here. I'm comfortable. I'm enjoying life. I do not lack the means. And then out there is this girl I've identified. Poor, poor girl. Oh, come on. It's obvious. I need to use the resources God has given me to. To make things better for her. That's the least I can do. It's a debt we owe society. So, Chief. How do you achieve this? Chief, I told you that man is wicked. I told you, you saw what just happened. Just because you, you refused to leave Chinwe and marry one of his daughters. So, what next? Hey, there is one of these, these their, their kinsmen that is very nice to this family. Um, the, the man I... I met her the day I brought you back from the hospital. What was the name of that man again? Ichio Foma. Yes, uh, Ichio Foma. With uh, Ichio Foma, this whole thing is settled. I see. I see. Ichio Foma. Yes, Chief. Daddy, um, is everything is everything okay? You've been standing here for a while now, keeping to yourself. I hope this has nothing to do with what is happening in this house. Amaka, this has everything to do with what's been going on in this house. Your mother's intransigence for one, then the awful behavior of your siblings for another. These things are worrisome. They are disturbing. And above all, they are saddening. Uh, Daddy, I, I, I understand. I know exactly how you feel. But I believe that someday soon, everything will be fine. Yes. Someday soon, everything will be alright. That's our belief. And that's our prayer. Someday soon, everything will be alright. But will everything be all right? And before someday soon, it is possible that this man would be a corpse. God forbid, Daddy. It's not a caution. Yes, God forbid. That's why I have to do everything possible to help God, not to make it happen. So I have taken a decision. Uh, um, Daddy, what decision? I have decided to marry a second wife. A second wife? Yes, a second wife. What? No, 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 no. Daddy, no, of course not. I, I, I mean, the. You, yes. you, you can't. Yes. Yes. Daddy, no. Yes. Amaka. Daddy. Do you love your father? Yes. I, I love my father. Good. Do you want 
this man here, your father, to live long for you. <laughs> yes, of course. I I want you to live long for me, yes. Daddy. How do I live long for you? Go ahead, give me the answer. Give me the way out. Daddy, no. Go ahead. Daddy, love I love you, Good. no doubt, and I, I really want you to be alive for Good. me. Good. I mean, for all of us. That's right. Well, I was hoping that there's something else you... you something you else like what? Daddy, have you have you found have you found the woman yet or you're still in search for one? So see the uh, feel the amount of joy surging through me now. Your support. Thank you for supporting me. Um, my people, my wife, my children. Uh, I have asked all of you to assemble here for us to put our heads together. Um, it is with joy and happiness that I want to inform you that this family will be expanding by one. Another member of the family will soon be joining us. Sorry Dad, I, I don't understand. What do you mean by we'll be welcoming a new member soon? Chiki, do you understand what you say? What, why are you calling Chiki? What do you want Chiki to do for you? But, but I'm seated here with you now. Was I the one that said a new member is joining the family? Oh, mom, do you know anything about it? No, I don't know what he's talking about. And I did not discuss anything with him. You all know we've not been talking to each other for a while now. So, uh, I don't understand. What, um... Daddy meant to say is that his new wife will be joining us soon. A new wife in this house? Yes. Wait, you mean second wife? Yes, mommy. It's not possible. No, no, mommy. Oh, Chere. Mommy. <laughs> Amaka? Yes. Is this some kind of joke or something? Um, of course. Dad? It's not a joke. No, 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 Dad, I am asking you what Amaka just said. Is it true? Flora. Mm -hmm. She said they are bringing in a new wife. What part hey. of wife don't you understand? W I F E. Wife. Huh? So, Dad, this has been your plan. All these wives. Hmm? No wonder! I've been suspecting you! I noticed you had girlfriends everywhere! This is beautiful. Yes. Um, where, where is your wife? 
Oh, she's uh, smuggly somewhere inside. Never mind, you'll get introduced, okay? Of course. Um, don't worry, you're safe. Uh, are you sure? Oh, come on. Shall come on. we? Shall we? Let's go. <laughs> woman I have risen with you I have led you through every logical argument that every reasonable woman should understand and you're unyielding but I tell you this Jim Wendell is in this house and she has come to stay never it can't happen what type of insult is that? Do you think you can go out there and bring your concubine into this house? You expect me to accept her? I can't. It won't happen in this house. Yes. Well, I tell you one thing. Chiwendo is not my concubine. She is my wife. In much the same way that you are my wife. Somebody brought you here. I brought you. The same somebody went out and also brought Jiwendo. And so you must accept the truth. Final. No. It can't happen. You know me too well. Eh? Okay, let's watch and see. Chiwendo must leave this house. Anyway, you know me too well. I will deal with her. I, I mean... I hope you like it. I love it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do. You know, the pool side. Oh. Yeah, this is the pool area. I don't know how to swim, but you can swim. I promise you. I'll teach you for free. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't mention. Um, I think that's that's all. One more thing. Tell me, teach me how to drive. Okay. Are you serious? You can count on me, that's not even a problem. Thank you. I am going to do that. Because that's what I'm here for you. Thank you. So, this is it basically. Uh, now that I've taken you around the entire house, and I've shown you all that you need to know, I will also like to add this. This is your home. Okay? No one has the right to make you uncomfortable in this house. Always remember that. But there's something you have to do for me. What is this? Um, no matter what anyone does to you in this house, never you lose your cool. Okay? Always remember to remain that good woman. You know, just like Daddy told you. Okay? You and I know. I know, I understand, but let me put this to you. My mother is my father's wife. You are also my daddy's wife. You know what that means? It means that you both share equal rights. Nobody has the right to push either of you out of this house. And as for I and my siblings, we are going to have our own family. So to worry. I doubt to me. I mean, I don't understand. What's What I meant is, I and my siblings, we are some day soon going to get married and build our own homes. Oh, that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that. I almost got that. Mm-hmm. You're a nice person. Oh, 
<laughs> I wish I could stay in this house with you forever. Honest. Ah, no, no way. Not forever. I mean, I want to get married just like you, or you don't want me to get married? No, no I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I will tell you this for free that you are the biggest fool in the world so you went and connived with daddy to bring in another woman to send your own mother out of her matrimonial home right I am so ashamed of you what rest assured that you will regret this. I promise you. Um, Flora, oh please, enough of this nonsense. Nobody brought anybody into this house to chase anybody out of this house. I mean, that's not the story. Why are you mixing it up? You of all people know that daddy got married to his second wife because of the way you, mommy and Chike, treat him. I mean, for his own sanity and happiness, he got a new bride. That's the story, girl. You're just an idiot. And you? You came to marry my father, right? It's fine. Enjoy your new home. Enjoy your honeymoon. I mean, enjoy it while it lasts. But let me quickly tell you this. You see this house? You will leave it dead or alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, please. Shut up. Just shut up. What would you do? I mean, what can you possibly do to her? You can't do anything. <laughs> but let me tell you this, Flora. If anything, I repeat, anything happened to this woman, if anything happens to her, I, your sister Amaka, I will personally put blood aside and deal with you one on one. Amaka, mm -hmm. is it me you're talking to? Mm, of course. No, I'm begin. asking you, Amaka, is it me you're talking to? <laughs> hmm. Of course I'm talking to you. And what are you going to do about it? Two. Is it me you're talking to in that manner? Are you mad? <laughs> now get out. I said leave! Oh. Are you okay? Get out of my friend! You can surely imagine. You slapped me. What happened? Flora slapped me. I came out here to reason with her. To tell her that I'm not what she thinks I am. That I want everybody to live in peace in this house. But she slapped me instead. And she called me all sorts of names. Flora. Flora! Is this true? That you slapped her? Your father's wife? Flora, I'm talking to you! Amaka, if you do not shut up and get out of here, what I will do to you will be worse than what I did to her. Now get out! Are you mad? Flora, are you okay? What has come over you? I'm asking you whether or not you slapped your father's wife. You, you, you're asking me to get out. What, what? Are you alright? Look, uh -huh. did you just ask if I'm mad? Uh -huh. Are you mad? Flora, you slap and me. I will slap you again and again if you don't learn how to shut up. Flora, you slapped me. Get out of my sight. What is wrong with you? Huh? How dare you? Flora, Flora, Flora. Amaka, I know why I'm leaving you because you're my younger sister. I know why I am leaving you. Amaka, hey, if I stand up, Amaka, if I stand up, hey. Hey! Now you will not call your father. You will not call your father. Amaka, you are. Out. 
see. So you had the right to slap my wife. Not see you slapped my wife. So much wind. So much wind that you could you could talk with my wife and even lay your hands on her, including slapping her. Slapping her! Slapping! Slapping! Madam Oga wife, I want you to wash these clothes and do it fast because there are other things you will do in the house. Now start washing it. All these clothes, this night, Ma, please let me wash them tomorrow. This is time for me to feed my baby and, and beat her. No please. way. No way. Ma, please let me wash them tomorrow. This is the time I'll feed my baby and beat her. Are you the only person that gave birth to a baby girl? Huh? Now start washing it immediately. I want to feed my baby. I want to bathe my baby. Come. You better be fast with this clothes. Because I still have some dirty clothes in my room. I want to feed your baby. So! I was told you're doing the laundry. So, uh. I'll just show you what. If you've been watching me closely, you can tell that I'm a very clean guy. Yes. That automatically means I'm very particular about hygiene. Good hygiene. When I'm doing my laundry, I like to focus on the neck, the collar. All right? Sometimes it can be dirty. The armpit. Alright, I'm not saying that my armpit stinks, but you can tell for yourself, it doesn't stink. But just focus on the neck, the armpit, all of them. Go and start out. I don't want to shout at you. Like I said, let me do the laundry tomorrow. I don't want to shout at you. Go and do what I asked you to do immediately. What is going on here? Amaka, just imagine. Your mother said that she washed this heap of clothes this night. Mommy. Yes? How can you possibly do this? How can you people ask her to wash all of these clothes? Is she your housemaid? For crying out loud, this is daddy's wife! And you need to respect her! Okay, whatever happened to the washing machine in this house? Flora. Even you. So you suddenly cannot wash your clothes yourself anymore, right? You're very stupid. You're a fool to talk to me in that manner. You're mad. If you was mad. Huh? Chike. What? Even you. Hey! Chike me no chike. I mean, this is this is totally wrong. By all standards. This, this is wrong. How can you do this? Did you just call me mad? No, I'm asking you. Don't fight me. Hey, 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 hey. Drop your hands. Huh? Silly girl. Look, don't you ever, ever try to raise your hands with me again. Don't you ever try it. The next time you try it. <laughs> it's okay, calm down. Mom! Relax! Can you imagine what? Amaka? No, 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 no. My own younger sister challenging me because of this thing. 
Please don't try it again. Don't just try it again. Please out of my way. Sweetheart, when next they ask you to wash their clothes, collect them and burn them to ashes. Did you hear me? Come on, let's go inside. Let's go! Did you say burn my clothes? Huh? You heard me? She should burn my clothes. I did. I she should that. burn my clothes. Yes. Okay. Since you don't want her to do the laundry, right? Mm. Do it yourself. Amaka, go and do the laundry since you don't want her to do you it. You know you are mad, Amaka. Amaka! I'm just respecting you. Do, do the laundry since you don't want her to do it. Okay, I'm just respecting you. Please, oh, don't take, don't, don't, don't even Mom, over, don't overrate yourself. Okay, okay. Get out. Get away. Daddy, why don't you take your wife, Jimmy, out of this house? I mean, sometimes I wonder what the both of you are doing here. You live in this house, yet you're not happy. Mommy practically disrespects you. And as for your wife, Jimmy, <laughs> Daddy, if not that I've been standing in gap for you, intervening at points where she really, really needs someone to speak for her, I don't know what would have become of her. Dad, you needed to see the way the people who live in this house, I mean mommy, chicken, flora, try to turn her into a maid. A wash, a washing machine, a laundry machine. I don't even know, like, Daddy, please, you have a lot of houses, a couple of houses outside this place. Well, I know that you might be worried about me, thinking, okay, what about, what about, what about Amaka? But Daddy, you have nothing to worry, because I can always pay you guys a visit. Alright. Amaka. I thank God for making you what you are, my own darling daughter. What can I do without you? Thank you for standing with me. You are the only source of joy this house. Thank you for being you. I've heard you. I've heard you. Thank you for listening to me, Daniel. For a few months now, I've not seen your father and his concubine in this house. Where are they? Amaka, I am talking to you. You! Oh, me? Yes. <sighs> Mommy, I, I didn't know that question was for me to answer. Like seriously, you're asking me, Amaka. <laughs> wow. Mm, interesting. Mommy, so after several months, you just suddenly realize that your husband, your husband or not my own, has been out of his house. It's today you decided to ask. Mm, mommy, what kind of a wife are you? A man you called your husband. Your husband. See your life. No, 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 no. Just see, see your life. Look at you. It's today you're waking up to ask. You're not even ashamed to say that he's been out for several months now. Eh, hey, point of correction, mommy. Chimwe is not his concubine. 
Chinwe is his wife. Just like you. Please don't mix it up. Why would my wife and Flora come here to pester you? Eh? By the way, how come they even knew about it? Who told them about it? I don't know. Maybe someone from your office gave them the address to this place. I know what to do. Honey, please. Whatever you do, don't hurt anybody. Because if you do, people will think I came into your family to cause problems. Please. You did not come into my house to cause any problem. And you did not come into my house with any problem. In fact, they are the ones that have the problem. Okay? So don't even go there. Alright. <laughs> she just came back. Let's go inside so you can... Freshen up, eat, and rest. Hmm. And I ask again, where did your mother go? Dad, I am answering you again. Yes. That my mother went out. Why does she, why does this woman have to go out all the time? Why can't she put her ass down somewhere and sit in her house? She must go out all the time. Now, brother, you're supposed to be my daughter. Why don't you have a single drop of human sympathy? Anytime somebody looks at you, you look, you look, you look like almost like a man, and yet you're a woman. No sympathy, no emotion in you. And then you connive with your mother to go to my wife's place, knock at her gate, knock her up with a view to I mean threatening her. For what? Why do you do it? Why do you why? Dad, I mean why do you do it? Not me! No! Dad, let me Dad, leave me! Dad, leave me. Dad. hospital now. Uh, don't worry, when we get to the hospital, I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'll, I'll keep you posted, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Um.
Now you get it. I sent for you. I am worried. Worried about what? Worried about my husband. What is going on? You have been treating him since, but I've not seen any improvement. So I ask Nai, is it that your medicine is not effective or that his body system is not accepting your medicine? Please calm down. Calm down. No, 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 Nai, don't tell me that. Don't you tell me to calm down. It's my husband we're talking about here. I can't just fold my arms and watch him die just like that. Please, if your medicine is no longer effective, change your pattern. Simple. Okay, it's alright. I've heard you. I've heard you right. Just give me one hour. One hour, I'll be right back. Eh? Now I can make it 30 minutes. Yes, yes. Make it 30 minutes or less. It's a matter of life and death. Please. There is a question I want to ask you, and I want the answer now. Go ahead, sir. Why is it that since my brother, your father, came back to this village sick, very sick, your mother and your siblings, Chike and Flora, have never visited? If not for our wife, Jimmy. Your father could have been a dead man by now. Uncle, quite honestly, I do not know why my mother and siblings are doing this. Do you know that they made my father so unhappy in his own house? And that's the reason he decided to marry his second wife. <laughs> Uncle, they are largely responsible for my father's present state of health. Now let me tell you. If anything happens to my brother, your father, they will pay dearly for it. I'll make them pay for it. Believe me. Uncle, whatever you decide to do to them, I will not berate you. Sometimes I wonder if we share the same blood mm. because of this craziness. Mm. My daughter, there's something I want to tell you about this here brother Chike. Uncle, what is it? You see? This here brother Chike is um, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll tell you later. Okay. Why? why? Why not now? Tell me. Talk to me. Don't I'm listening worry. to you. I will talk to you later. Oh, my daughter. Uncle, you know you can always tell me anything. Listen. I will tell you later. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> if you insist. Mm. I do. Okay. 
in that case um i'll be going back tomorrow you know because of school i i have to go back that's okay i wish you johnny mercy when you read your place your studies i will definitely uncle and please you have to help me help chinwe to take care of my father in my absence i have also decided to fly them abroad if after two weeks i do not see any form of improvement in his health i'll be very glad if you do that i'll be very glad very happy i'll be there Barista, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. You're good? Uh, I'm good. How's your family? Uh, we're all fine. Oh, great. You called me. Smoke? I'm okay. Oh, you don't smoke? No. I'm oh, sorry about that. <coughs> yes, I called you. You see, um, as we all know, my father is critically sick. Uh, yes. I mean, he's very, very sick. And from the look of things, I think that old man is going to die. Yeah, because uh, he's very sick and he's very polygamous in nature. So people who get married to more than one wife, they die quick. But it's okay. So I actually called you because I want to find out if he has written his will. Because I know you are his lawyer. Uh, why all these questions? Yeah, uh, because I want to make sure everything is in place. Because I want to start arranging things. Yeah, his properties and stuff like that. So this is the reason you called me? Nothing more. Chike. Yeah. You are a fool. Even if I have the will, you will not see it. Of giving it to you. Excuse me. Hey, 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 hey! Where are you going? Where the hell do you think you're going? And what gave you the audacity to speak to me like that? Are you crazy? Are you mad? Listen, the fact that I've been polite with you all these years doesn't mean I'm afraid of you. Have you heard me? Now listen to me. Who made you? I said, Who made you? My father. Who pays you? My father. And who is my father's next of kin? Me. So that means I am your new boss. Excuse me. Hey, listen! I'm coming to your office to pick up that wheel. Look at this bar head. I don't come. How is he doing? Are there improvements? Really? Oh, okay. I, I, I'm go I'm going to see. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Yeah, don't. Please don't get tired. I beg of you. Hmm? See you tomorrow, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Amaka. 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 Yes. I've been calling you. I answered you. You didn't hear me call you. But I answered you. Anything the matter? Why are you why are you yelling? Why am I yelling? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Okay. Amaka, mm -hmm. you know I'm your brother, right? Of course. Your elder brother? Yes. And you know I love you so much? Oh yes, I love you so much. You just don't realize it. Oh. But I do. What do you want? <laughs> Amaka, we all know your dad's favorite child. Mm. And then you're the closest to him. You know him better than anyone in this house. You know his secrets. 
everything. Okay. Um, if I may ask, what is all of this about again? Do you also know he's very sick? Of course. I mean, critically ill. <laughs> Goodness. Chike, please, I know that. Do you also know he's going to die? What? Oh, yes, he's going to die. I forbid you, Chike. How dare you? Are you serious? That your own father is going to die? Oh. Uh, you mean you wish that daddy dies over the sickness? Can you just hear yourself? Chike, my own father is not going to die. I repeat, he is not going to die. Amaka. Yes? Calm down. My problem is the wheel. What about it? Oh, yes. I need to get that wheel before something bad happens. Remember his second wife. That woman is very dangerous. <laughs> if she finds that wheel, <laughs> something bad is going to happen. <laughs> Chicken, uh, just hear yourself. Let me tell you this. I will never tell you anything about the wheel. You could never lay your hands on the wheel. Even Eve, I know. I'm strong. I'm the. Shh, just keep quiet. Are you serious? Your father is critically sick, and all you can think of is you're already debating no, 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 his no. will. No, a no. man who is still alive. Amaka, listen to me. Chike, you listen. Stop being a child. Listen to me. I'm trying to protect. Chike, our you do not have the right to be in possession of that will. You can never, you will never know anything about the will. Yes. You, you don't understand. I'm trying to protect. Seriously. That's proper. Shut up, Chike. Keep really? quiet. I shut up. Yes. Shut up now. This is totally unfair. Amaka, me, your elder brother. Quiet. Brother. Really? Yes. Me, your elder shut brother. Up. Shut up. Really? Quiet. I hate you. Amaka. Shut up. Your father is going to die. Um, Daddy, he's inside with your wife. Bring, bring him to, to me. Okay. Um, just a sec, Dad. Um, she. Um, Daddy wants to see the baby. Should I take you inside?
so you can take your medicine. I prepared something nice for you. Wakey, wakey! Darling, please wake up. The food is getting cold. Please. It's okay, so you can take your medicine. Honey. Darling, Chief, Chief, this is No, 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 Chief, Chief, Chief. Yes? Now what happened? Your father is dead. Uh -uh. When? Oh, last night. Hey, uh, has his corpse been deposited at the mortuary? It's okay, I've heard you. Oh, no! No, I can't come now. I'm a little bit busy. Amaka, stop shouting. Yes, I know he is my husband. That shouldn't be the reason you should be shouting at me. Will you shut up your mouth, my friend? Shut up! Mom, I overheard you screaming on the phone. Who was that? Is it not Amaka? Uh, what happened? Uh, she said your father is dead. That I should start coming to the village immediately. I told her that wouldn't be possible. I'm a little bit busy. She started shouting at me as if I am a child. I don't really know what is wrong with that girl. Mom, you said my father is dead. That was what she said. She just told me now. Um, like, like dead, dead, dead. Your father is dead, and you are here uh, 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 asking wow, me like, wow, dead, wow, like wow. dead, dead, dead. What do you mean? You have to get yourself prepared. We will be traveling to the village in four days' time. Well, Mom, I, I don't think I can go with you. Why? Um, because if I travel with you, who's going to stay back home to prepare for his funeral? Yes, I think you have a point there. In that case, I will travel alone. Better. But mom, are you sure he's dead? That's what Amaka just said now. Wow. Don't be Chile. So, Ochile is gone and gone forever. Ochile Oswa. Ochile Oswa. Gone and gone forever. Hey! 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 What shall I do? My brother, I can't question the gods. But I am going to go to the I can't question God. Only when he will go. Look at the innocent wife. Just look at the innocent wife that has been suffering, trying all she could to save my brother. And my brother has not survived. Ah! Uh, all our efforts have been in vain. Mm. Oh, Chile. Oh, Chile, 
Oche lo ozo a. Hey. Hmm. A tree that makes a forest. Ofo sisi. Mero ubu. Ofyo uboko. Oni ekosa. Oni ekosa. Oni ekosa. Go and be our eyes there. Go there and be our eyes. Yes. I'm sure you're happy that your father is dead, right? Your father's body lies cold in the mortuary and all you can do is frolic with your women. Hey, Chike, I'm ashamed of you. I am ashamed to call you my brother. And I'm very sure that wherever father is right now, he's regretting ever thing is son like you. Are you done? What mortuary did you take his corpse to? Chika, you're such a fool. Chika, you are a big fool. You're very stupid for asking me this silly question. Kai! Chike! All of you who has treated father badly in this house, you will soon begin to receive your reward. Are you done? This is the second time you're sounding like this. I won't tolerate it the third time. Chike, you will suffer! Chike, you will suffer! Chike, your children and your children's children will treat you worse! Chike, you will suffer! Hi, babe, take it easy. He's your elder brother. What are you... What are you... Get out! Get out! I say get! Hey! Get, get out! Hey! Hey! Get out. Get hey! Get out. Amaka! Get out. Amaka, what's wrong with you? That's my guest! Get out! Get out! Amaka, have you gone mad? That's my guest! Go and punish you, Chike! What's wrong with you? Go and punish you! Go and punish you! Chike! Go and punish you! Chike! Go and punish you! Huh? Go and punish you! God will punish you! God will punish you! God will punish you! Chicken, God will punish you! It will not be well with you, Chicken! What are you doing here, Joyce? I'm asking you again. What are you doing here? Will you get out of this place? Get out before I show you the bad side of me. Get out! No, please. Take it easy. Take what easy? Just calm down. Calm what down? Calm what now? Your husband has been sick for the past three months. You never cared to ask. You never visited. Now he's dead after five days. Look at you coming. What are you coming here to do? Eh? What are you coming here to do? By the way, where are your children? Chicken and the flora? No, they are busy. They are busy, eh? They are busy. They are busy to the extent that they cannot come and see their sick father or the sick bed. Talk of now that he's dead. Eh? Oh, okay. It's alright. Now, be prepared to face your mother. Be prepared to face them. Flake her! Get out! No, please. No, I'm not going to die. Tell me why you are here. Now I want us to talk about something very important. What is it? Say whatever you want to say. Because I want to go to bed. It's late now. Nay. Yes. I want to ask you something. Do you realize that my husband's problem started immediately he married that his second wife called Chinwe? Yes. If not that, 
Ochiri of all people suddenly fell sick. Stroke for that matter. Stroke is not in your lineage in now. And so many other problems that this family is facing now. Think about it in now. Joyce. Yes, in now. Ah, let me tell you. You are the cause of all the problems my brother had. You. So, get out of this place. Just keep moving. Get out. I don't want to see you at all. Now, it seems you don't understand me. Now, I want you to do something for me. And I will pay you handsomely. I don't want to see Shinwe here. On the day of my husband's burial. Yes. Send her out of this compound. And I will pay you the sum of 300,000 Naira. And equally pay you a hundred thousand naira as monthly salary for the rest of your life. And most importantly, I will give you one of my husband's buildings in the city. How about it? Joyce. Yes, no. You are a big fool. You're a foolish woman. But Silo, Fulega! Okay, nine. To tell you how serious I am, this is the sum of 300,000 naira I promised to give you. Yes. Joyce, yes. Come, come back. Come back. Come and take this. Don't worry, have Baba. Let go, Lola. Yeah, woman. Woman! Hey. Uncle? I've discovered that you're a witch. Eh? That you kill your husband with witchcraft. Me? Don't say anything. And for your own interest, you leave this house first thing in the morning tomorrow with your kids. If I come back here and see you, I'll kill you. Take it from me. It's a promise. How could you? How could you do this? Do I mean, this is so unbelievable. You of all people, you sent my father's wife out of her own house, her own husband's house. Uncle, considering all that this lady went through during my father's sick days, you still have the heart to do this. Amaka, my daughter. Your father's wife, Jim, is a witch. She killed your father. Uncle, please, just stop this already. Stop it! Enough of this nonsense. Mm. How can you say this? She wasn't a witch those days. She was carrying my sick father all around. She was not a witch. You have suddenly decided to become wicked to an innocent woman, Uncle. I know that my mother plotted this evil against her. But my surprise is that you of all people, you bought into this. I'm really amazed at you. 
uncle i am going to say this to you it is a promise if anything i repeat anything whatsoever happens to my father's wife and her children uncle i am going to create a history that the whole world will never forget mark my words oh, uncle you are calling me talking to me like that you are talking to me like that uncle please please eh? with due respect do not call my name again do not call my name hmm? yes uncle I will not forgive you for this though. I will not forgive you. And I'm going right to Chinwe's house to bring her back to her home. It is her home, her husband's house. It's not getting me. You oh, heard oh, me. What have you just said? You heard me, Uncle. Eh? Let me tell you. Never you try that though. I want one hour. Don't try it. Never you do that. Stop me if you can then. Stop me. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Chilotam. She's sleeping inside. Please. Please, my dear. Come back home with me. I beg of you. That's your home. Your husband's house. You can't just pack and run away because my uncle says so. Nobody has the right to send you out of your husband's house. Please. Tamaka. No. I will not come back home. My life and that of my children are at risk. Your uncle made it clear to me that he will kill me if he sees me in that compound again. Look at me, Amaka. Take a very good look at me. I have no one to speak for me. My parents are dead. My husband is dead. My uncle hates me with passion. He does not want to hear or see anything about me. So please, I will not come back home. Let me stay here with my children and face my destiny. Anytime that God calls on me, I will go and answer him and leave this wicked world. Please. God forbid, you're not going to die. Come on, stop talking like this. Look, I have had a talk with my uncle. And I promise no harm or hurt is going to come to you nor your children. Trust me. Hamaka, you will not understand. You needed to be there. You needed to see what your uncle did to me. I'm not going anywhere. Like I said, I will stay here. I will be fine here. Um, look, I just want to beg you, hmm? I'm here now, I promise I would not let any heart come to you, please, come back with me, I beg of you. Amaka, thank you so much for your concern, you're a nice person, but in cases like this, you are just a woman. The forces against this issue is, is heavier than you think. So please, let me stay here. Please, you are not a witch. You are not a witch, please. We cannot bury our brother without you. Because as I'm feeling now, everybody, everybody, the ambulance, the cops are on the road. Because my brother has refused to go home. He has refused to go home without you. Please. Please. I crave your indulgence. Please forgive. I know I might have treated you wrongly. But forgive. Let's go and bury our brother. I am not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. Leave me alone. I am not going. Please. Chiwi, Chiwi, please, I beg of you, come with us. I beg you in God's name. 
for the sake of my father, your husband. For the sake of the love that you both share, come with us. Please, come with us so that my father's corpse can get home to be buried. I'm sorry for all the things that my uncle, my mother, my brother, my sister, that they all did to you. I'm really, really sorry. But for the sake of the love that you both share, please remember he was a good man. And I know that you both loved each other. Please, my good wife. Please. I might have treated you badly. But please forgive. Please, Jimmy. Please. Let's go and bury Ochiri. Ochiri Ozwa. Your loving husband. Please. Please. I. I know how you feel. I understand. But please. Stuart. Amaka, I'm doing this because of you. And because of the love I had for my late husband. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my good wife. Thank you. Did you get a mechanic? Did you get a mechanic? <laughs> oh Lord, she's asking the dead to go call a mechanic to start the car. She can come down. All of you are, all of you are crazy. Driver, can start the car. What? Wait, Say everything is all right. Did, did you ask my late father driver, to call the mechanic the to start Say the car? Is all right. Like seriously? Driver, please start. The driver, car. Don't stop the driver, car. start the car. So my dead father went to call a mechanic to to, to, to fix the car, right? Yeah, Start really? Chicken, my dead, you asked my dead father to go call the mechanic to start the car. <laughs> Chico, you need Chico, you need to talk down. to me. Tell me. I need, I need answer. Why did you say? Chicken, calm down. The car is already started. Chicken. Driver. How is it? Okay, go, 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 What did you do? I told you, Chicken. You told me what? I told so you. So she spoke to my dead father. I told you, did I told you. Chicken. No, 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 I need you. to understand what happened. This car wasn't oh, working a few minutes ago. It's okay. You should be grateful. You should, should be grateful, Chicken. No, 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 I don't trust this car. Get the casket out. Let's, let's, let's all walk with it. We should get the casket yes, out. Yes, get the casket out. Let's all walk with it. This guy is going to stop again.
So let this answer to That is all for the wheel. Mm. I believe you all had me well. Wait. And Chief won as he wrote the wheel. So shall it be. Of course. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> Barrister, thank you for that well spoken speech. That was a good one. But you know what? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Because everything you just read to us is rubbish! Arrant nonsense. You know why? Because it's completely impossible percent of his wealth, his property to me, 10 percent to my mother and my sister, 10 percent to his brother, my uncle, sitting before us at 70 percent. these witches to my left and to my right that is diabolic it's unacceptable tell me how else can you describe witchcraft all of you are witches including you barrister you look like one Barrister, are you sure, like very sure, that it was our late father that wrote that will? Or you're just trying to take sides here? Uh, well, my dear, I'm sure you know your father's signature. Why can't you take him look at it? Let me help you pass it on. Thank you very much, Barrister. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. This is my father's signature. But you and I know that anyone can easily learn and sign this. And I am sure that is exactly what you did, Mr. Barrister. Now listen to me. Get this rubbish out of this place because it is unacceptable. Hey, wait, 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 listen, wait, wait, guys, 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 we're going too far with this, all right? It is possible he signed the damn documents, okay? But the old man is dead and he's probably in hellfire right now. But guess what? I am his son, his legacy, the one to continue his name. Above all, I am his next of kin. I have the right to change that will right now. Yes, I do. Barista, I am disappointed at you. I thought you are a nice person. So you connived with my late husband when he was alive to prepare this nonsense you call a will and gave out everything to this thing here. <sighs> Point of correction, madam. I never connived with anybody to write the will. I am sure when he brought this, you read it. You know his family very well. And you didn't bother to tell him that what he wrote there was wrong. 
yet you went ahead and accepted it. So, now listen to me. Enough of this nonsense, Kalagi. I want to talk to you. <clears throat> and I want everybody to listen and listen carefully. Joyce, you might have heard when the barrister was reading away, when he said that the husband wrote that if Chicken does not like or does not accept the content of the way, he should ask you a question. Now, tell Chike, tell him your story so that we, 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 we end this, uh, this uh, drama, this episode. Talk to him. Tell him the truth. Are you hearing me? So, Mom, uh, you heard my uncle. Um, you were supposed to tell me a story. So what other story do you have to tell me? How my father joined the Nigerian army or the Biafran army in 2046? Tell me. I'm all ears. Please, we need to hurry up. My son. Don't have time. The truth here is that when I got married to your father, yes. we stayed like 10 years without a child. And, and because of the love we have for each other, we went to a motherless baby's home and adopted you. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. What? Adopted who? And after some years, God blessed us with uh, Flora here and Hamaka. Oh, wahoo! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that I am my parents' biological child. <laughs> so, Chike, oh you've heard the story. So, in a metoto gaga, eh? Where's the way? Wow. Where am I? Although we are still the, the son of uh, Ochere, but take it easy. Do you understand? Yes. Um, you said God blessed you with Amaka. Yes, I'm from Florida. So who did God bless with me? Nobody. Excuse me. Have a nice day, Barista. Mm. Thank you so much. God bless you, Daddy. No. 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 No.
Chika, where are you heading to? Hmm? Uncle, I'm leaving this village. I'm tired. Why? Uncle, you're asking me why? Yes. Uncle, why are you acting as if you don't know why I'm leaving the village? I'm tired of this village. <laughs> I'm not included in the will, so let me leave. Who says so that you're not included in the will? Chiki, my son. Now let me tell a simple truth. Whatever that happened in that will, you are father. Ochere. And my brother wrote, it's your fault. Because you do not play your, the, your role as the first son of the family. But uncle, no matter what I did wrong, for him to will almost all his wealth to strangers, what, what happens to me? I, I know I'm adopted, like they told me, but what happened to me, his son? Tike, you are still the first son, adopted or not adopted. That compound belongs to you. And it's a lesson to you and to everybody. So, Uncle, let's go back. Uncle, going back is not the problem. The problem is, what is my position? Where do I stand in the family? You are standing as first son of Ochiri. And you have your full rights as first son of Ochiri for henceforth. That house belongs to you and everything there. That's all. Let's go. Let's go back. You can build on what he gave you. You can build on it. Uncle, are, are, are you As sure I'm safe in that house? No, oh, we are very much safe. I'm there. Nothing will happen. Nothing ever will happen. I'm there. Let's go back. Please. Let's, don't be despondent. Let's go. Be confident. Trust me. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. You go right there. Mommy, remember that I told you that whatever seed you plant, that same seed is what you will invest. Now that he's gone, and I look at you, just take a look at your life. You ended up the same way as Daddy. But you know the difference is that he had people around him, that he was surrounded by so much love until his last day. He had me, he had Chiwe, but I doubt, I don't know who's going to take care of me in this condition. Is it your daughter Flora or your son? All of you ganged up and killed daddy for what? Flora. Flora. I did all I could as a sister to talk you into showing your father just a little love, but. <sighs> I don't know why you were so wicked. You could have chosen to be anything else, but you chose to be a bad daughter. Just like mommy. Mommy chose to be a bad wife and a bad mother to all of us. But, I mean, daddy loved you. He did. But how did you pay him back? You had only one father. And now he's gone. Gone forever. That makes you fatherless. I hope you're satisfied. I hope so. I hope that you find happiness now that he's gone. No, 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 no. I don't know why you're crying. <laughs> What's the need? You don't need to cry. <laughs> because you know what? Crying will never bring him back. He's gone. Chike. Chike. I don't know what to say about you. But 
one thing I know for a fact is that Daddy loved you, Ismael. He did. I mean, knowing now that he picked you up from an orphanage home, and yet he showed you that measure of love as a son. We didn't even know that you were not our brother. I mean, biological brother. Chike, that man deserved all the love in the world. But what did you do? What did you do as a son? You were so wicked. You were so wicked to this man until the point of his death. I'm glad that he gave you this house. He left you this house, which is a very good thing. Because this house is forever going to be a constant reminder that you, Chike, that you killed your own father. Yes. Because each time you come into this compound, you're forever going to see his grave. That will always remind you that you killed your father, Flora. That you killed your father, Mom. You're always going to remember that you killed your husband. What's up? Okay, so cool. Please have a seat. Okay, you're welcome. Chiwe. Chiwe, are you there? Chiwe. Chiwe, are you there? Um, uncle, I invited you here to let you know that I, Chingwe, and the kids will be going back to the city tomorrow. Yes. Uncle, in addition to what Amaka just said, we'll be going back to the city tomorrow to enable me take care of the company, the estates, and um, start building on that land. I'll have to invite you to the city as well so that you can help me call people to clear the land, get contractors to start work there. I, will, I want to hold my husband's memorial service there. I wouldn't want to do it in this house. Thank you very much. I will do exactly as you said. I advise you to take good care of the four parties will to you. Manage it very well. Hmm? My Lord. Take good care of the children until I come. I wish you safe journey to me. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. Uncle, thank you so much. After said and done, there is judgment. After said and done, there is judgment. If I in a minute, I'm a Sweet, one number. Remember one way to 
ಕುಂಡ 